we will continue. Sorry for that. Kay napalong ang kadali. Okay, so as I have been saying, so dili ni mo ni pwede diritsuhan ana, no? Kay dili man sila makonnected ang joints. Okay, so uh, let's say all. So kani, you have to delete this because I draw this nga gidirit sora, no? So gi highlight na to ni using the select and unselect member and then you're going to delete. Okay, delete delete members. Okay, then we do it again. So we add member then we draw our member like that. Okay, so if you want to know the label of the members, so click on view and then member number label labels and then view node number labels. So many mga designations, ijang mga nodes and members. Okay, so we're ready now to put in our loading. So the upper right hand corner, this one here. So, kinahanglan ang mga nakahighlight dire o unsa nga basic load case, mo na ang load na imi apply dire. Okay? So, we have applied the dead load, the live load, sa bottom part, wa pa day loading, no? So, we highlight the member, and then we put in the load. So, let's say, parihas ra sila, 8 meters. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we apply our wind load and then the computation of, of our wind load is acting on the joint. No? So, pwede na po nagmag-act diri on the side as a uniformly distributed load but we converted the uniformly into a concentrated load acting on the joint. Okay, so we click on this loading, add nodal loads. Okay, so at the roof deck from our computation, let's say the load there is, let's say, 50 kilonewtons. Okay, going to the right. If the force is going to the left, you will place a negative sign before the member. So since to the right man itong load, so that's it, no? So in the lower floor, let's say the width load computed is... 60 kilonewtons. Okay, and the uh, second floor, let's say 65 for example. Okay, then this one here is the windward load and the leeward, leeward load. We also apply the leeward load. So let's say 13. Parihas tanan. So, ang inyong computation, may inyong basihan na ano yung pagpatang sa mga loads. Okay, so you have there your wind load. Okay, so click again on the earthquake load. So we apply our earthquake load at the nodes. So let's say this is 300. Okay, sorry, 300. So this one here is 370. Sample. Three hundred and fifty. Okay. So, what are the loadings? So, complete na ta. So, earthquake load. Then the wind load, and then the live load, and the dead load. Okay, so we are now ready to place the material properties. So what is the cross section of the members? Now, so click on change member property. Uh, we highlight on the member. Okay, this one. Control lang para naka highlight kay client ng member. And then click on the material. So, what is the cross section of your beam? So, let's say this is 
500 by 300 then click ok and then your columns 